Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fade Hello everybody, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video I will be talking about a brand new 2024 Lego Star Wars leak we have. This was actually leaked a few days ago, but in the excitement of two potential all-time great sets, having had information leaked or the set itself leaked in the case of the UCS Venator, it was kind of forgotten about. This new 2024 leak is about the 753844 Plus Crimson Firehawk, which will release on January 1st, have 136 pieces, and cost $50. The new info we have about this set reveals the minifigure selection and everything included in the build. Starting off with the minifigures, we have Nash Durango, the droid RG-80, and the last minifigure, which is probably the biggest reason the set was made, is Nubs. Nubs is the single highest selling toy from the Jedi Young Adventures TV show, so it was surprising when he wasn't in the 4 plus 10 new Jedi Temple earlier this year, since including him would have boosted sales by several times from little kids convincing their parents to buy it. But now we know that the reason he wasn't there is because they were saving him for this set. I think this is disappointing since Nubs, who has almost the same popularity among children as Grogu did when he was released in toy form, has been placed in the more expensive 4 plus set instead of the cheaper one. Since Nubs is such a popular character among children, that'll result in the sales on this more expensive set going up, which is a smart move from LEGO, but it's disappointing since Nubs seemed like he would have been better off in the 4 plus 10 new Jedi Temple set. For $50, this is a quite lackluster minifigure selection. This is just a 4 plus set, but for this amount of money, you should always be getting more than just a droid and two minifigures. Moving on to the new information that we have about the build, it'll be the Crimson Firehawk, which is Nash Duango's ship, a speeder bike which can be stored in the Crimson Firehawk and a small market booth. We could probably expect the Crimson Firehawk to use larger pieces and to be quite blocky since it's a 4 plus set. We probably shouldn't expect too much from this set, but for $50, I would hope that the Crimson Firehawk would have twins instead of stickers. The speeder bike in this set will most likely have a quite similar design to the one we got in the 4 plus ATST, since with only 136 pieces, this set will probably have quite simple builds. We can expect the same from the market booth, with at most probably 10 pieces being used for that build. Overall, these all seem like solid builds, but for $50, it's quite disappointing. This set's biggest issue doesn't have to do with the set itself, it has to do with the price. Like a lot of other recent LEGO Star Wars sets, the build seems fine, but for such a high price, it's not worth getting. It's especially disappointing here, since this set will probably still end up selling well, even though it's seems like it really shouldn't just because of the Nubs minifigure. Overall, this set is fine, and if you find it on clearance, it's a great set for little kids, but for $50 or $40, this set doesn't sound like it'll be even close to worth its value. Alright everyone, that is everything for today's video. Tell me your thoughts about the 2024 4 Plus Crimson Firehawk in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on the minifigure selection? What are your thoughts on the price? Do you think it's a good set or a bad set? And one last thing before you leave, please remember to hit the subscribe button, ring the notifications bell, and leave a like on the video. Bye!